In the previous video, we have created our test spawner that we will use to test our save system. What we will need to do is to create in the hierarchy a cube or any other prefab that will spawn. So let's right click, create a, a 3D object and let's select a cube. And we're going to save the cube to our assets file uh, folder so that we have our prefab. Let's delete it from our hierarchy. And I think in our save test, we have already created our test spawner. We can drag here our prefab, so our cube, as well as we can drag here our save system, or we can select this icon and select our save system in our uh, game. So now we will be able to see the created prefabs in this list, but we will need to have some kind of UI to, uh, to control how the test spawner acts. So let's right click in the hierarchy, let's select UI and let's select a button. Okay, I can see that the button is pretty small and to see it in the scene view, let's select the 2D. Okay. What we can do is make sure that you have selected the rect tool and let's extend this button. Okay. Let's uh, maybe rename this button to maybe create prefab button. Okay. And let's select our text. And for the text, let's increase the font size and let's call it create. Okay. Now what we can do is simply duplicate this button. Let's select the move tool or W to select, uh, to select the move tool. Let's slide it up. And instead of create button, let's rename it to save button. And let's rename this in the, uh, the text to be save. Okay, without an enter. And again, control D to, uh, to duplicate the save button and let's rename it to load button. And we are going to again uh, move it a bit up and let's change the name of the text to be load. Great. Now, all we need to do is to assign to our create prefab button. We are going to slide down in the inspector and on click, we are going to use this plus icon and drag our save test as the object to our on click and we should be able to select a function test spawner and we should have the spawn prefab for the save button again we are going to select the on click add to it our save test and let's select the function test spawner and save game and for the load button on click add we are going to select our uh, save test and we're going to select the test spawner dot load game and i have forgotten to destroy the old objects before we load the data so let's quickly go to scripts folder let's reopen the test spawner and when we are loading the data what we will we'll want to do is to call our clear method so let's type clear so that we delete all the previously placed uh, cubes or prefabs so let's save it let's go back to unity great now everything should be working so let's press play and we should be able to click on our create and the cubes should be created and now we should be able to select save and we should get the successfully saved the data let's create some more cubes and now let's press load the data and you can see that all the data was loaded now if we stop the game and restart it now we can again select the load data and the data was successfully loaded we can create some more cubes Let's save the data. Again, we can stop the game, restart it, and we can select the load data, and all the cubes should be loaded at the same positions. Now that we know that our simple save system works, let's go to the GitHub repository. The link is in the description of the video. Here you will be able to check out any scripts that we have created so far, as well as download the starter package and all the packages for each step of this tutorial so that you can check out the whole system as we go. Okay, so let's select the 01 starter package and let's select the download button to download this package and let's open it up by simply clicking on it. It should open up the Unity and you should have uh, the, all the assets that you will need to start the starter project. Let's import them into our Unity project. Great! Now when you are done, let's select the scenes folder and let's open up the town scene. Let's save this scene that we have worked on so far. Great. And now you should be able to see the UI as well as our 
terrain. Okay. Now, before we can start working with this project, we need to set up the layers. So let's, in the right top corner of the Unity, let's select it, uh, the layers, and let's select uh, Edit Layers. And in the layers, let's expand it. And as this eighth layer, let's call it Nature. And ninth layer, let's call it Ground. Okay. Now, if we go to the terrain, extend this game object to the nature extended and select the bush, you should see that the layer is nature, while the plane that is responsible for discovering where we have clicked is of type layer ground, and this will allow us to simply press play and to place objects on our map. So this is a simple city builder. If you select the road button, it should be selected. And if you click and hold your mouse button, you can place a road. If you select house, you can place a house. And this is randomly selected from a, uh, an array of game objects. I think it was in the structure manager. We have houses prefabs, and those are all the elements that we have placed. We have special structures, and we have a two by two big structures. And the basic notion for our save system is that we would like to have a way to save this town or city layout with the road and the houses so that we can recreate it when we restart our game. And this is what we are going to tackle and we are going to analyze how the code works so that we know what exactly do we need to do in the next video. Now, if you are enjoying this tutorial so far, leave a like, leave a comment. It helps me a lot. See you in the next video.